Amen. God says, look, you, you, you want to give your children good stuff? I'm telling you the best gift that you can have from me, your father, is the Holy Spirit. And you want to sit there and reject? Mm-mm. Okay, last scripture, last scripture, John chapter 7. John chapter 7. John chapter 7. Let's start at verse number 37. John chapter 7, verse number 37. Last scripture of the day. Amen. You ready? Look what he says. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should, underline should, receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Jesus says that out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. And what he was talking about was not waters coming out your belly. He was talking about the Holy Spirit who was going to be living on the inside of you. And then he says, he, you should receive him. Now, he qualified it by saying you should receive him because there will be some folk who won't receive him. There will be folk because of ignorance who won't receive him because they, they just don't know. Or they're afraid. Because of what other folks said and what other folks did. See, if you get this, look, I'm telling you if, you, if you, if you just hang with me during this series. You know I make the appeals to being filled, being filled with the Holy Spirit. I don't want, I'm not going to make that appeal until after I finish this series. Because I want you to have knowledge. I, I don't want you coming up for that appeal until you get some accurate information. And I'm going to take my time and just show you systematically from the Word of God some lies that have been told on the Holy Ghost. Then I'm going to show you the benefits of having the Holy Spirit live and, and have residence on the inside of you. I've shown you already part of the ministry of the Holy Spirit, what he's doing in your life. All right? But I'm going to, I, I really, because this is so vitally important, the Holy the Spirit of God told me, he said, you got to teach my people. They need to know this. Because without knowing this, they live in a, a handicapped life. You're going to heaven. Praise the Lord. But there's more that you could have if you would just tap into it. See, see, you, 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 you're struggling right now. But if you got the Holy Spirit on the inside of you, I mean, he could move you, transition you so quickly from point A to point B if you only knew. And I would not be derelict in my duty to teach you the things of God, to show you what God says. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. But I got to stop today because guess what? I am out of time. Give God a big hand of praise.